And COVID concerns leading to a closing notice for the hit Broadway musical Ain't Too Proud. While the music man cancels a week of performances after the star Hugh Jackman tests positive for COVID, CBS 2's Ali Bauman live in the theater district tonight. Ali? Dana and Dick, this is supposed to be one of Broadway's busiest seasons, but of the 30 shows currently on, seven of them had to cancel performances tonight. That kind of uncertainty is bad for business and bad for the 97,000 jobs that Broadway generates. We planned our whole trip around this. Allison Proudfoot is getting her money back for the Music Man Tuesday. She and her partner came all the way from Canada to see it. We are like, okay, we'll make a trip of it at New Year's, and then we found out today that it was canceled, and it's coming back the day we leave. Performances were canceled through the week after lead actor Hugh Jackman tested positive and, uh, for COVID. I'm just going to do everything I can to get better ASAP. Tuesday, Ain't Too Proud welcomed back an audience after its shows were canceled due to COVID. But the production also announced it will permanently close next month. It made me feel like it's March 13th, 2020 all over again, you know, with with all of these stop and goes. Jawan Jackson is one of Ain't Too Proud's lead actors. He plays Melvin Franklin and has been with the show since the beginning. We don't know what our community and what our industry is going to look like tomorrow. David Byrne's American Utopia is getting creative to stay open with a special stripped down version for this week only. You can cash in your ticket or you can have what's behind this curtain. We don't have a mechanism to shut down a show for a period of time and go into hibernation at a lower cost and wait out a storm. Kevin McCollum is the lead producer of Mrs. Doubtfire. He says the show lost more than $1 million when it recently had to close for 10 days. So many people were diagnosed with COVID at a similar time that we couldn't even have understudy rehearsals. Now Mrs. Doubtfire is back on, but McCollum's other show, Six, has to close until January 2nd. It's the industry's responsibility to come together and find a solution for times like this so that new shows are not economically crushed before they even begin. And McCollum reiterates while some performances are closed, Broadway is open and plans to stay open. On our website, you can find a link that updates daily with which performances are canceled. That's at CBSNewYork.com. For now, we're live in the theater district. Allie Bauman, CBS 2 News. Allie, thank you.